Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. We are back on iOS. So for the first time we have came into White Moose Lake. So I'm going to show you the rod setups that we're using. I'm going to give you a moment there just in case you want to, to have the same rod setup as what I have got just there. So if you're new to Fishing Planet, we, ha we do have a playlist of just Fishing Planet with over 400 videos of just Fishing Planet. <laughs> We've completed all normal missions and all fish monster missions. If you need any hot spots or want to know how and where to catch certain unique big fish, you'll definitely find it in that playlist. Let's move over to number four. I do play this on PC on Steam, PS4. We're max level on both of those, but I want to get to max level on iOS. Last time we played, I was level 42. Still 42, but as I said, White Moose Lake. We haven't. I haven't actually shown you me fishing here now i have caught some fish and we are now moving over to day two but i gotta take the time forward because we are not fishing a peak time so a peak time is as you can see there that yellow part the yellow part is where you're going to catch the fish more quicker always try and fish peak times definitely recommended and i definitely say that this 100 percent it runs a lot better on on ios <laughs> compared to ps4 PC it runs perfect and on iOS perfect. PS4 there's a lot of stuttering and uh, the picture quality definitely isn't as good as iOS. I am on a iPhone, 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 <laughs> iPhone 12 Pro Max, uh, not Max, iPhone 12 Pro. So yeah, just to verify what I'm playing, they also have this on um, on iPad. They are going to be bringing it to Android as soon as it's. It's released on Android. I'll be making a video on that, letting you guys know that it's there. When there's updates on this game, of course, I'll always let you know about the new updates. Always uh, doing a live stream, face cam and mic, always showing you guys all the new hot spots, how and where to catch new fish, completing all the new missions, showing you all, all the goodies, all the good stuff, all the tackle and stuff, yeah. So couldn't give you a better reason to subscribe other than that. So we're fishing now in a hot spot. So if we cast out there. Out there, anywhere between 180, as you can see, we've got some interest already. 180 to about 190 foot seems to be where it's really good. We can catch a lot of fish around here. There is other hot spots, of course, in this lake as well. But this is one of my favorite places to fish here. Now, well, I say one of, this is probably my second. My first is definitely the pike over there, over that way. There's a lot of pike over there, and I like catching pike, but again, we've made many videos of catching different pikes in different lakes, so in here, I thought I'm going to try and catch something different. Always make sure you're fishing the same location as me, the same hook size as me, and of course, the same bite, same bite, same bait. I really don't even know why I can't talk. If you're using barbless hooks, that's definitely the best way, because you're going to get more XP, so try and use barbless hooks. It doesn't matter if they're... X series barbless or just barbless they're still going to give you more xp so lake trout there not bad cash so we've got on this one a barbless hook hash free up and this is going to help give us more xp now if you don't have a barbless or you can't buy a barbless because the barbless hooks you have to get those with your bait coins if you don't have them as long as you're using a hash free art hook that's the main thing and then you're still going to catch these fish. But as I said, do try and get barbless because they definitely help with the XP. And then on this one, we do have the X series one on there. Oh, it's not showing. But we have the X series 4 up hook on there. If not, just use a 4 four up. That's the main thing. Hash 4 up. And then our new casting rod that we showed you in the last video. As I said, we was level 42 in the last video. We still are here. So I'm going to cast to that tree there, that big one, as you can see. I'm going to cast over to there and see if we get any interest. I don't know if we're going to be able to use this spinning rod as much as what I would like to show you in this because these bait rods keep on going off quite a bit by the looks of things. <laughs> that was pretty quick. But I don't mind if I'm catching fish on the spinning rod or on the bottom rod. I don't, I don't mind, as long as I'm catching fish. Normally I use four bottom rods and one spinning rod. It does seem a bit extreme to use five rods, but 
The more lines you've got in the water, the quicker it is. It should never take too long to catch fish on this game, no matter what lake you're in. If you're not catching fish at a fast pace, it means that you're either not in the right place, not right hook or the, or the wrong bait. And as I said, we do have a playlist of just fishing planets, so you could always look through there. And I'm pretty sure anything that you're looking for, any lake, you will definitely find it. I've shown it from the beginning. It doesn't matter whether you're on iOS, <clears throat> on Android, or PC, or PS4, whatever, it, or Xbox. It doesn't matter what you're playing on. All of these hotspots that I always show, it works on all platforms. So this will work for Android. This will work for Xbox. Even though I'm on iOS, it will work for PC. It, it makes no difference at all. All of the hotspots that I'm showing will work on other platforms as well. So that's a good thing because... If you thought, well, you're on Xbox and this is iOS, at least it's still going to work. Or if you're on Android and you see me on iPhone, this is still going to work for you. Uh, let's pick up this rod. We're snagged, but that's okay because we're going to reel in anyway. Let's, uh, oh, wow. Well, okay, I think we've snagged onto something because the real speed has gone up to four there. Unless that's what it was left on last. Let's have a look. Okay, now we did reel in something, a shell? Yeah. Okay, you don't need to keep the shells. I always discard them, because all they do is just take up room in your backpack. They're not any use. But they're not bad to keep catching them, because the more you catch of them, you are complete achievements. Those achievements do reward you bait coins. So, I guess not a bad thing to get them. These bottom snipers have come a long way for me, to be honest. I'm... Yeah, I definitely do want to get a new bottom rod, but I haven't bothered to do that as of yet because I wanted to get the new spinning rod. I definitely do plan on buying a bigger net, and I definitely do plan on buying the rod holder that can hold three rods rather than two rods, the electric bite alarms rather than just, um, just a, a rod stand itself. So yeah, I do plan to buy that. All of that stuff, I'm probably going to buy... Yeah, I definitely will buy, actually, Lake Trout. Sorry, I couldn't show that long. We've got another fish on. Yeah, all of that stuff I will buy in the next video that we do, we do, do. We do, 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 do. And we will be, we're level 42, so I'll probably make another video when I'm probably about level 44 now, I would have thought. I've been progressing through from the beginning on iOS, and I've been just basically showing you where I would grind it out. Now, I've started this game from the beginning so many times, it's absolutely unreal. But <laughs> but I do like it, though, because... There you go, Burbot. I do like it, though, because it's nice for me to come back and fish some of these low-level lakes again, like I used to. And instead of me always buying a DLC pack and going straight into a good lake, I've actually brought these rods from the cash that I've been earning from catching the fish. So I haven't actually brought anything with real cash other than premium, which premium helps. It gives you that little bit more XP and cash. Now, you don't have to buy premium. I probably would recommend it if you want to get fast cash and fast XP. That's definitely the quickest way of the game, as well as using barbless hooks. Now, you don't have to do that. I'm not sponsored in any way for you guys to, for me to say that. It's just uh, a personal preference, really, that I like to have that always on the PC. And I always like to try and level up quick because if I'm leveling up faster than everybody else, when you watch these videos, they're actually going to help you out because I'm a higher level than you and you want to try and get to my level. And then by the time you get to my level, you're then going to want to be higher than me. By the time you want to be higher than me, I'm still going to be higher than you because you just watched that video. If that even makes any sense at all. Hopefully it does. <laughs> but yeah, I, my plan is to always try to level up quick. Everything is always a race. This is why sometimes I can play this game for over 12 hours straight. And that's on PC, PS4 and on iOS. I can seriously sit there for more than 12 hours playing this game. Now, I don't do that every day because that would be very, very unhealthy for me to do that. And, yeah, it would just would not be good. And nor do I have the time to put 12 hours in every single day. But when I do have them days where I do have that time, yeah, I definitely make the most of it. So if you're only going to buy even just one day premium, it's definitely recommended. 
you, if you know that you ain't going to do nothing for the whole day, you're just going to sit indoors and chill and do nothing but play Fish and Planet, and then get your snacks in ready. <laughs> get your snacks, buy that one day a premium, and you'll be surprised in one day how much you can level up. Yeah, it makes a world of difference. Now, if you bought a DLC to get into one of those lakes that are like level 70-odd, you could get straight into those no matter what level you are by buying that DLC. So you get to fish one of the good lakes straight away. That is an option. Again, you don't have to, nor am I sponsored to say that, but it is definitely a quick way to get insane XP, insane cash at a very fast rate. I, I'm not going to buy any DLCs on iOS just because I want to progress. I'm going to buy a premium to help me level up a little bit quicker so that way these videos are actually useful to you but um other than that yeah i'm not going to buy any dlcs i'm just going to keep progressing through keep getting into different lakes and then showing you me always grinding it out with the rods that are actually part of the game rather than money that i've actually really spent on that rod because some people don't like to spend money on games some people also can't afford to spend money on games. So, you know, everybody's in a different situation. Lake Trout. All right, so we've got £60 in our net there already. That's not bad. I know we're still at a peak time because that peak time uh, was quite quite a, quite a big gap, actually. It was quite a lot. Yeah, it was quite a lot. So I've got plenty of time to still catch myself some more. So between 180 foot to 190 out there again and let's set this one back up out there it's been nice coming to white white moose lake i actually really did enjoy coming to this place when when i was a low level call cool. wow i did spend many hours grinding it out in here as well <laughs> yeah especially for those pike all right so as you can see i've got interest again so let's swap those rods over Physically not really getting a chance to use the spinning rod because the button rods are going off so much But that's not a bad thing. I don't mind as long as we we are still catching fish That equals money and XP and that's of course. That's what we're going for All different types of baits you can use you could even if you can't cast that far over there You could even rent a boat which is just there You could rent that boat and you could drive over closer to that way so just over there, you do have a bit of a, a nice brick, uh, brick layer of ice there, sheet of ice on the water. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so you want to cast a little bit in front of that. So if you can't cast as far with your rod, jump in that boat and then drive over there a little bit. As you can see there, I'll point the marker again in a moment to whereabouts we're casting. Just in case you can't cast that far. And you're going to go in a boat. It's still doable in a boat. Oh, this one was really fighting for that last little bit. There you go. 19 pound. Not very much XP, but pretty decent cash again. So just on the edge, that little bit there. So we're casting just about there. So, yeah, if you can't cast that far, you could always get, get in that boat, rent that boat out and use that boat. All right, so this is going to be the last fish to show you guys. I'm sorry I didn't really get to show you much of the spinning rod, but that's not a big, big deal. I'm not going to bother to remake this video just because we are definitely going to be using that spinning rod a lot more um, in other lakes when we when we move on out of this lake. But I'm pretty sure I am going to end up fishing 30 days in here. So we'll also be making a video of um, 30 days. Because every time you fish in every lake for the first 30 days, you get a free gift. So once I hit day 30, I'm going to get a free gift from this place. But at the same time, if I did it again, I'm not going to get a free gift. You only get that free gift the one time. So only do it once where you fish 30 days in one lake. If you can, do try and do that in every lake. Because you'll always get a free gift after those 30 days. I'm definitely going to be doing that and of course when you jump to day three you also get a free gift there and as you progress through picking up like shells and other parts out of the water that's also going to give you a few more bait coins as well. Bait coins I will definitely never say no to extra bait coins. 
<laughs> because I fish a lot of daytime fishing and of course it takes a bait coin to jump forward the time if you don't stay there full time. And then if you're fishing after 9 p.m., it doesn't take a bait coin. So really is what I should, I should be more of a night fisher. If I was more of a night fisher, and then I could save myself real cash, but I like the way it looks in the daytime. That's my main, that's my <laughs> main thing. Yeah, you can catch fish at a fast pace at night as well, definitely. But uh, we haven't actually done any night fishing at all yet f since I've been level one to level 42. I haven't even done one night of fishing. So I'm definitely going to be doing some of that as well. We, we are going to be doing some of that. But for now, I want to keep showing you daytime because it just looks, it does look really, really, really good. Well, this one's definitely taking a short minute there. We're getting it. It's coming slowly. Let's see. Have we got a unique? Ugh, not quite. That uh, is my new biggest though. 1,800 cash there. 557 XP and 26 and a half pound. That's not bad. That's a good sized fish. All right, let's now. Okay, we're unsnagged. Now let's reel this in. Okay, so because that's reeling in fast, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a shell on the end of that. Let's see. Yep. There we go. So we click discard because we don't need to keep it. Just take up space in our backpack. So I'm going to jump to the next day, even though if we wait those five minutes, it won't cost us a bait coin. I'm going to do it anyway because I just want to show you. So we go to skip, extend the day. It's only a thousand a day here to fish, so that's pretty good. We got 7,000. <clears> Sorry, lost my voice. 7,600 cash we got there. All right, so that's going to be pretty much it for this one. We got 183,000. 980 cash so that's what i'm gonna do i'm now gonna keep on fishing and yeah the next video will either be the 30 days of fishing in this place to see what the free gift is or it will be at level 44 leave your comments below hope you guys did enjoy this one we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games i am out